Hello everyone. Welcome to Radiology Euphoria YouTube channel. This X-ray of a frontal left shoulder joint belong to a patient presented with painful left shoulder following a fall. Can you identify the pathology? This frontal X-ray of a left shoulder shows a central intramedullary expansile osteolytic lesion with an associated cortical disruption and osseous linear fragment in the dependent portion of the lateral aspect and this is consistent with the fallen fragment sign of a unicameral bone cyst what is unicameral bone cyst unicameral bone cyst also known as simple bone cyst a common benign non-neoplastic loosened bone lesions mainly seen in childhood between the ages of 5 to 15 years and less than 15% cases reported over age of 20 years and male to female ratio 2.5 to 1 in considering clinical presentation these lesions are usually asymptomatic and found incidentally however these patients can be present with the pain swelling and stiffness of adjacent joint however the main frequent presentation is a pathological fracture the etiology and pathogenesis are unknown the commonest site is the proximal humerus it is more than 60% of total cases followed by proximal femur it is uh, nearly 30% of cases and other sites are calcaneus and the posterior iliac blade adjacent to the sacroiliac joint plain x rays are the first line image in modality these simple bone cysts are located in the proximal metaphysis of humerus or femur and then progress toward the diaphysis with skeletal growth and eventually reach the mid diaphysis at that time they are usually healed occasionally this cyst adheres to the growth plate and extension into the epiphysis and apophysis and reported only in 2% of cases unicameral bone cysts are well defined geographic loosened lesions with a narrow zone of transition uh, mostly seen in skeletally immature patient and usually centrally located and you can see a thin sclerotic margin in majority of cases uh, typically these are 6 to 8 cm in size however there is no periosteal reaction or soft tissue component if there is no fracture simple bone cyst expands the bone symmetrically and causing thinning of cortex without any breach of cortex unless there is a pathological fracture and you can see the prominent ridges of bone and it appear as pseudo trabeculation on x ray but usually these are unilocular rarely this can be truly multilocular that is usually occurs after repeated fractures if there is a fracture through the lesions there will be a dependent bony fragment you can see within the lesion and this is well known as fallen fragment sign and you also can see a rise in bubble sign which is pathognomonic and this is due to a gas bubble in most non dependent part of the cyst cts are very similar to the x rays uh, the main advantage is you can characterize the extent and detect occult fractures and you can assess the internal density usually in between 10 to 15 hu mri of the lesion demonstrate fluid content of the lesion and which is homogeneous low to intermediate signal intensity in t1 and marked hyper intensity on t2 and on contrast enhancer t1 images shows peripheral enhancement and this can be altered by the presence of fracture causing hemorrhage into the cyst and you can see fluid fluid levels and pericystic edema and the rise in bubble sign which represent a locule of gas or vacuum phenomenon in the non dependent part of the cyst indicates a pathological fracture and this rise in bubble seen as signal void on t1 and t2 and blooming artifact on gradient echo in bone scintigraphy unicameral bone cyst appears as foci of photopenia or cold spot this is referred as a donut sign as the increase uptake in peripherally and the osteopenic center if there is a pathological fracture there will be increased radioisotope activity when considered in the treatment and the prognosis the intervention is usually not required for a asymptomatic case if there is a large and high risk of fracture or cause in deformity then you can intralesional steroid injection can be done and if there is a fracture of bone uh, it's usually 
heals normally and sometimes surgery may needed with curettage and bone grafting the local recurrent rate is nearly 15% the major differential diagnosis of uh, unicameral bone cyst or simple bone cyst are androsomal bone cyst and the fibrous dysplasia right today we discuss about unicameral bone cyst or simple bone cyst if you like the video you can like it comment it and share among your friends if you are not subscribed yet subscribe the channel and click the bell button okay we will see you soon with a new case thank you